Hi there, this is Ruben from Dutch Round 1. Thanks again for coming by. Thanks for watching another episode. As always, I appreciate your time and I appreciate your support. All right, so today we're going to take a look at how to say I feel in Dutch. It's a vocabulary lesson, right? Also, we're going to try and improve your conversations. But before we do that, remember to give a like if you like this content, subscribe to the channel if you want more, and let me know in the comments if this was useful for you or not. All right? If you want to help out the channel, go to the description box, click on the buy me a coffee link, and I will greatly appreciate it. But without much further ado, let's go straight for today's lesson. All right, so the first translation of to feel in Dutch is zich voelen. All right? You can see it on the left hand side. Two parts, zich and voelen. Voelen is our verb. What is zich? Zich is what we call a reflexive pronoun. And zich voelen is a reflexive verb. What is that? Don't worry. First of all, I'll read the definition and then we'll take a look at, a, at an example so it can make sense to you. A reflexive verb is a transitive verb, basically means it has an object, whose subject and object always refer to the same person or thing. All right, that's the definition. As always, definitions don't really make a lot of sense, so we have to take a look at the example to make our lives easier. All right, so the example is I cut myself by accident the other day. All right, first of all, we're going to take a look at the verb. All right, it's cut. All right, is it a transitive verb? I cut what? I cut who? Yes, it can have an object. All right, you can say, What do I cut? I cut the bread. There you go, you have an object. All right, in this case, I is our subject, but what is our object? It is myself. I cut myself, and that together is a reflexive verb to cut oneself by accident the other day. All right, well, zich voelen, as a translation of to feel, is also reflexive. You can compare it to French or Spanish language. You can say je me sens, I feel, or me siento, I also, I feel. Same thing in Dutch. All right, we're going to take a look at some examples now to make your life even less complicated, to make your life easier in this way. All right? So, ik voel me goed vandaag. Okay, I feel good today. Hij voelt zich trots na de overwinning. He feels proud after the victory. All right? So, you can see that in English, we do not translate the reflexive pronoun. We do not translate the me. We do not translate the zich um, in English. However, in Dutch, we have to say it. Again, we can compare it to French. We can compare it to Spanish, where you would say... Me siento, je me sens, il se sent, se siente, and so on, all right? So it's the same thing, right? Now, when are we going to use zich voelen as a translation for to feel? Well, it's basically when we have an interior feeling, all right? So remember the two previous examples. Uh, ik voel me goed, so I feel good. So basically that good feeling, you feel it inside. Ik voel me blij, I feel happy, that happy feeling, you feel it inside. Ik voel me trots, is basically I feel proud uh, inside, all right? So if it's about an interior feeling, a feeling you feel on the inside, then you will use zich voelen as a translation for to feel. So you'll use the, uh, the reflexive verb. But we've got another translation for to feel and that's just voelen. All right. The translation of voelen is to feel, but it can also be sense or it can also be get a sense of. All right. So voelen as to feel, voelen as to sense and voelen as to get a sense of. In this case, we are speaking now about an exterior feeling, something we can feel from the outside. All right. So, for instance, when it's cold, we feel the cold from the outside. Or when we touch something with our hands, we can feel whether it's hard, whether it's soft, and so on. So, this is now the translation for voelen. All right. So, let's take a look at the examples. All right. Ik voel de hitte. I feel the heat. Right. It's warm outside. I feel the heat. So, it's an exterior 
feeling you have. It's an exterior perception. All right. We voelen met onze handen. We feel with our hands. Of course, we will use voelen can also in this case be translated as sense. We feel or we sense with our hands. So again, feel with our hands, exterior things. All right. And the directeur voelt de druk van zijn personeel. Okay. The director feels the pressure given to him by his staff or feels the pressure of his staff. All right. So basically now the staff is giving the director uh, pressure. So um, he feels that from the outside. All right. So again, exterior feeling we use voelen. Okay. We take a look at some other examples. Met wat mensenkennis kun je vele situaties goed aanvoelen. All right. With a little bit of knowledge of human nature, you can get a sense of many situations. All right. Now, first of all, we ta we've taken a look at voelen as to feel. We've taken a look at voelen as to sense, but it can also be to get a sense of. And this is the example. Met wat mensen kennis kun je vele situaties goed aanvoelen. All right. So again, with a little bit of knowledge of human nature, you can get a sense of many situations. All right. So this is basically the third possible translation for voelen in English. All right. So this was our lesson for today. I hope it was useful for you. I hope it made your life a little bit easier and I hope it basically explained the difference between zich voelen and voelen. I want to thank you again for watching. If you like this content, give the like, subscribe to the channel if you want more and let me know in the comments if this was useful for you or not. Again, if you want to help out the channel, go to the description box, click on the buy me a coffee link and I will greatly appreciate it. I want to thank you again for watching. I want to wish you a great rest of the day. Stay tuned for another episode of Dutch Round 1.